A rare peek inside a unique machine that could speed up the search for COVID treatments. Developed over 10 years, it can see how well different types of antibodies protect us from infection. Antibodies are our gatekeepers, latching on to a virus to stop it getting inside our cells. But some work better than others. In the lab, scientists can test them with the machine to see which ones work best. Initial results coming in a matter of minutes. Now this is an example where the antibody is not binding very well. Now I show you a trace where the antibody binds very well, where the gap between the two curves is getting bigger. That means the antibody of the patient is binding to the virus and the virus can't enter the cell. We can then, based on this evidence, uh, look into the vaccine development, into plasma therapy, and see how we can use this information to optimize to find proper vaccines. And this is plasma therapy, an experimental treatment that many hope will work against COVID. Adriana, would you mind um, just saying hello and saying your name and saying where you work so we can test the sound levels? Scientists in Switzerland have been using the machine to test the effectiveness of antibodies in volunteers' blood. Yeah, it has been a difference, a complete game changer. For me, I mean, the exciting thing is that we now have a measurement, a, a, a number that tells us something about uh, the quality of uh, the antibodies uh, and now we will we'll have to see whether this translates into efficacy. But yeah, until uh, a few weeks ago we didn't even have a number. The information that this technology provides to clinical researchers is a lot like the information that code breakers at Bletchley Park were providing to troops on the front line. The code breakers weren't fighting the war but they were providing crucial information about where the enemy was, how the enemy is moving, how to most effectively attack it, and therefore how to ultimately defeat it. The developers say the technology could also be used to find drugs for other diseases, including cancers, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.